Marketing revolution. 80% of people say they will use the same agent. This is straight from NAR. This is NAR stats. But what's crazy is less than 30% do. The actual number is 27%. So why is that? What's the disconnect? The problem is that people just lose touch. They lose sight of their agent. And so remarketing is obviously a very important part of that. But I also want to talk about what Meta is doing at Meta Summit. They talked about the fact that marketing has traditionally been broken down into two different things. There's brand marketing and there's performance marketing. So performance marketing is what everybody knows and loves and uses street talks for. And then brand marketing was this thing that people would do, but it was untraceable. They, they, they didn't know like how it was working and they just separated it. But what they're doing and they're saying in the future, all marketing is going to be performance oriented. It doesn't matter if it's brand marketing or performance marketing, all of it's going to be performance oriented. So this is the first big shift. And there's three shifts that's happening in, in, in marketing over 2024. The second big shift is how people are consuming content is changing in a significant way. And this is a big thing. So we talked about the fact that the eyeballs are on Facebook. Did you know 72% of media time is now spent on digital? 72. It used to be that everybody was on TV. Now everybody's on digital. Only three channels matter for brand recall and creating a connection between a business and a brand. They did a massive 10 year study through Oxford and they looked at literally every kind of channel that there is. And it turns out YouTube, Meta and TV are the only three that matter when it comes to actually creating some sense of relationship between you and your audience. And the craziest thing is that everyone's moving away from TV to uh, Meta and YouTube. So those are the, the two big channels that you want to be thinking about in 2024. And then this is the other thing. Steve showed you what the value of the ROI of the leads are that are converting. But here's what's really interesting statistic is they actually, so Kantar uh, did a custom um, meta analysis during 2020, 2019 to 2022. And they discovered that for every $1 invested, there was an additional $4.95 of long-term value. So that's the value that was received after the initial value that they got from the advertising um, spend on meta, which is interesting. So think about that. So, so the way the audience is how people are doing things has shifted. And then the third big shift is full funnel marketing. And so we talk about top of funnel a lot. And what Meta is saying they're doing is that they're actually changing and they've already changed. And you'll probably notice this in your own advertising, how they're showing your, who they're showing your ads to. So Meta has more than 40,000 signals of intent. And signals are intent are ways for them to know, okay, are what stage in the funnel is a person at? So it starts with the awareness phase. So it's they're a person who's just become aware. They're like, I've just become aware of you, your business. I just become aware of the fact that I need to move. I've just become aware of the fact that I'm interested or ready to buy or sell. I'm, it, it, that's the awareness phase. The interest phase is somebody who's saying, okay, now I'm curious. I'm paying attention. What do I need to know? How do I ready my house? Is there a way I can improve my curb appeal? I haven't, maybe I'm a, I've lived in my house for a hundred years and, or maybe not that long, maybe 30 years, 20 years. And I'm thinking about downsizing and it's like, I'm a new brand new buyer again, a bad, brand new seller. And I have to think through all the, the journey of that. So they're in the interest phase. So they're educating themselves. Then you get to the decision phase. And in the decision phase of the journey, people are starting to think, okay, you versus who, like they're starting to make a decision as to who they're going to work with. They've already decided that they're, that they know enough that they're going to make it, that they're going to act. And then of course is the fourth part of the funnel where they just take action. And then loyalty is your customers. So these are your clients, the people you've worked with, you've, you love them and they love you. And now they're choosing to work with you. And so what Meta is saying is they actually know every single phase of that funnel through the signals of intent that people are acting on. And this is like a pretty big thing. So they're using their AI algorithm. So when you run a performance ad through Street Text, like a lead gen ad, and you're creating a brand new audience and it's reaching people that maybe weren't in your sphere before, they're outside of your network and it's driving those leads. So you saw Chase, you're getting like 200 leads, 400 leads, however many a month. What Meta is saying that those leads, they're actually in every single stage of the funnel. They're gonna be everywhere from awareness to action because they're looking at people who are like, they're showing signals that this is somebody who is really interested in buying or selling today. And so they're in your funnel now, but the big question becomes, okay, if, you, if they're the right phase, what percentage of them are going to buy or sell this year is quite a high number. 
especially in 2024, as the interest rates are coming back down, there's some people who put things on pause, they're gonna unpause that. The question becomes, why are they choosing you? It's because they're building a connection, an emotional connection with you. And so one of the things is remarketing is an incredibly powerful way of you to establish that rapport and make sure that you're staying top and center of everybody, including your past clients, including the new people that you've just generated. But how many hours does it take to become a friend? And there's a bunch of studies that go into this, but essentially it takes on the minimum about seven hours of being around somebody to become a friend. So it's like you, you go to an event, a conference, and you hang out with somebody, or you, you see them like occasionally here or there. It takes about seven hours before you're like, oh yeah, that person, I'm, like, they're like in my friend zone. They're, they've, they've got a spot in my mind. And humans, we can't tell the difference between spending a time with somebody around a fire or spending time with somebody watching a video. And we all know this phenomenon. It's Facebook famous. It's YouTube famous. It's that you see somebody that you've seen on YouTube or somewhere else and you're like, ah, okay, I know you. I've, you're my friend. But it's because you've seen enough of them to form that sense of relationship with them. And so it takes about seven hours. And the cool part about that is you can actually fast forward that journey by using videos, like which I'll get into in a second. So I want to talk about the strategy here as we step back. So the number one thing is that's about expanding your audience, right? We're driving the right audience. Everybody knows that you're trying to get new listings. You want to get more sellers. You want to find people who are downsizing. You want to find um, maybe they're buying and they're selling. And so the key here is you want to expand your audience. And what a lot of people make mistake not within street text, but in other places, they will run traffic ads. And the reason this is wrong is that traffic ads, they're not looking at the signals of intent for conversion. They're looking at the signals of intent for clicking a link. And so if you're just running an ad and you're running a traffic ad, you're going to get a lot of low cost leads, so to speak, but they're not going to be people within that pipeline stages that I just talked about. Whereas conversion, you're actually filling the funnel with the right people. And so now that you've got the right people, you're growing and expanding your database. The second part is you wanna build that connection. And and if you already have connection with people because of your past clients, because they've seen you, because they visited your Facebook page, because they follow you on Instagram, that is the perfect audience that you wanna be staying in touch with in remarketing. So it's those two things. And so essentially when you go back to seeing the funnel, demand creation through Meta is actually getting on the top four and then remarketing ads that's gonna be your bottom four. So it's gonna be everything from your past clients to people that are in those pipeline stages that are are working there. So if you think about, again, the value is that you wanna be running those two things as you're going into 2024. But here's the kicker. So Meta shared that the fastest growing part of their platform right now is Reels. So they have 190 plus billion plays every single day on Meta. And people are sharing 2 billion reels through through DMs daily. 2 billion reels are being shared daily. And through Marcus, it's probably like 1.9 billion. And it's amazing. It it really is. Here's some other stats that that I just found really fascinating. So they saw through reels. And so this is, I really want to talk about as far as like the shift in remarketing is that 67% increase in sales volume when you combine reels with regular ads. So if you're running a regular ad and you start running real ads to complement them, you're going to see a 67% increase in sales volume on average. And it makes sense, right? Because if somebody clicked on something because they saw the offer and then they see you in a reel, that reel is now establishing that sense of connection. So they feel like they can trust you. So they wanted the offer, but now they want to work with you. So you're positioning yourself as the person they want to work with. Two thirds of people used a service or product after a reel. This is like a mind boggling thing, which is, Two thirds of people, and this is according to the Global Consumer Short Form Video Surveyed by FactWorks, two thirds of every single person who's watched a reel at some point or another has bought or used a business service after watching them on a reel. Like if that, like I, you gotta be doing reels in 2024. And then half of people messaged a business after watching a reel. These are really high statistics. And the other cool part about reels is they put you everywhere. So you're obviously on Instagram, you're on Facebook, you're on the feed, you're gonna get into the video section, but it also will also can be used on the messenger side. And then Steve shared a little bit about the video creation, but then within street text, it's really easy now to create those real ads. And we got a new feature coming out very shortly, which hasn't been announced yet, which is gonna make this even easier. I'm very excited about. Now, what this is all coming to is that we know we need to be on ads, like we know what we need to be doing, but the, 
the key is that it's about performance advertising plus AI. So you're starting with, and this is really the future of advertising in 2024. So you're going to be starting with the best ads. So these are the ads that are tested, they're proven, they're ready to go. And then you're going to take AI creative and AI is going to be able to give you alternative versions, which we talked about today. And then you're also going to be doing the AI optimizations with the best placements. So when you launch an ad based on the best placements, you're gonna get your best cost per leads because the thing is that if you show an ad to all placements, Facebook says they'll optimize it for it, but they don't do it quite right. So they will optimize based on the lowest cost per click, not necessarily the best quality audience. And so what we do when we, we launch ads through Street Text is we actually choose the audiences, the placements that are gonna get the best engagement. So if somebody's on an Instagram feed, for example, we're gonna be on that placement. If they're gonna be on the uh, Facebook news feed, we're gonna be on that placement. We're gonna select the placements, but there's placements that we're not gonna pick because it's like if someone's playing a game and they have that little bar that shows up, that's not a placement we wanna see your ad on. It's not a good use of your money. And so we're gonna we're gonna always choose the best placements to optimize the best cost per lead and the best lead that comes through. But then AI is gonna optimize the ad, which is based on the data that we send it on off-site events. So off-site events is like when you click that that button to that yes, I closed that deal, that lead. AI is then gonna use that data to optimize who it's showing to on the best placements around people that are more like the person that just closed the deal with you. And so your lead quality is actually gonna improve over time. And that's a really big like thing that's happening in 2024. So it's so there's an AI revolution, but the key is it's like, how are you using that AI to make, not, not starting from scratch, but taking the things that really work well and make them better. And so it's making them more informed. So you're training the model. And then obviously like this is, we know the strategy, but it's about building those new clients. So you're looking for, you're looking for home buyers and I mean, home sellers, home buyers, everybody. And the key is that you're taking them through this journey. And then of course I got a great example here of Chase and his videos that he runs. He's got an amazing remarketing. And so you're complementing the traditional style of, of offers and, and interruption-based marketing with relationship style marketing, which is this, which is they're seeing you and they're getting to know you, but they're also getting a lot of value. So yesterday, Marcus shared that stay framework, which is a great framework to think about when you're creating content on social, which I was from Tristan. So stay was, what was stay again, Marcus? It was, I think it was, what was it? I wanna say it was advice. Uh, you, you want to share something about advice. You want to share something about you, and then you want to share teach. Teaching? Yeah, teach. teaching. That's right. And then what was S? Yes, yeah, so sell with stories. Story, story. That's right. Exactly. So, so as you're creating these videos, you want to tell a story. You want to share advice. You want to have content that's about you, and you want to make sure that you are you're teaching people as well. Yes. Look so up. Teach. Yeah. Teach me something. Advice on something you're great at. A hobby you love, and then you talk about you so it's like that rotation where you want to tell a little bit about someone about the the, the story you had with a customer of yours so it's sharing about you but then you got to rotate that in with things that are not just real estate like exactly they want to know to get to know and trust you you're crushing it you're crushing on that like really are so people are looking for brands they trust and this is key it's like remarketing is going to put you in a position where you become that trusted person so that's it. I just want to say thank you so much for this. Like, this has been a ton of fun. I'm going to hand it back to you, Marcus. But so think about it from the strategy. So you're generating leads and you're building a database of people that are in the funnel. And then you're making sure you're nurturing your entire database with the remarketing and you're staying in front of them with the video content, the relationship style content, but you're also including those offers because you wanna make sure you're raising hands. Two mistakes people make. One is that they only provide offers and the second one is they don't ever provide offers. And so make sure you're always giving people an opportunity to tell you to raise their hand that yes, I am indeed interested in buying and selling. Because that question I asked at the very beginning of this, which is how many people today do you think in your market are waking up thinking to themselves, man, I need to buy or sell or move or relocate or it's time to help my parents make that shift they've been talking about how many of them are seeing you? And so that's the question and making sure that you're coming from the place of serve and creating your remarketing funnel around that whole context of making sure that the content is about serving people with the problems, about helping them make the decisions that are right for them. And that's gonna create a huge following for you this year. It really will. It's gonna be, it's game changing. Yeah, so with that, back to you, Marcus.
Oh, I don't know where to, to, to end this, John. I, I would say just like Leon mentioned, and, and Chase, you, you said this as well. There's probably a thousand things going on in your brain right now. And you don't even know where to begin. And hopefully you pick one, two, maybe a three nuggets that you're really going to go and take action on immediately. And I don't know what those are for you, but what I would tell you is that this will be recorded. So you can come back and watch that. Everything that we put in the, in the chat feature will be there. So you can go back and read there. And if there's anything specifically that really connected with you and that you want more information on, just reach out to us. We'll get you that information. We'll connect you to the right resources. We're there for you. And remember, Street Text is all about sharing and giving and collaborative community. Join us on our weekly masterminds. Come to any one of our workshops. Like some of you are active members. Some of you haven't been a member for a while, but you're always welcome. This community is always here for you. So there will be a time where you're going to, to put all these tools and resources together. But in the meantime, come and be inspired, be encouraged, collaborate with the brightest minds in the industry. And just we're one message away from answering any question you have. Merry Christmas. Take some time for yourself. You're going to have the 12 Days of Christmas feature release will be coming to you starting today, Steve. Yeah, the first one will get put into your account. The one optimized for revenue or optimized for bu your budget. And so you can start thinking about what your goal is going to be for 2024. And you can use that tool to help you think about how many leads do I need? How much do I need to spend? What my conversion rate will be? Oh, actually, we'll be updating you on your conversion rate too as you track your deal. So we're going to do a fantastic job, I believe, of just really giving you all the data you need so you can run your business and all your social media ads through Street Tech. So I'm looking forward to 2024. I think uh, all of you are as well. And yeah, thank you for being on this event today. Yes, thank you. Look, Mr. B, look, it's always throwing in his goals and his strategy for 2024 right there. If you guys are looking for some ideas. Yeah, One Mr. Pound. B, that's, that's a great goal. Everybody screenshot that because it's got the target, what you're trying to achieve with the actions that you're going to do every day to do it. I think that's key. Yes. And remember, there's so many resources within this community that you can connect with, right? If there's someone that, that said something today and you're like, I need to find out more from that person, just reach out to them. I guarantee you every single person that is in the street text community will receive that call or that Facebook message or invite you into their group. There's so many opportunities to connect and collaborate. You're not in this alone. You've got community. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Appreciate Great you being us. here. Thank yeah, you. For easy, all the easy word is just do something. Just do something. In order to get a result, you got to do something. Watch the replay. Don't worry about every shiny new button. Pick the thing that's easy to implement for you. And as Marcus said, if you got a problem, reach out. Everybody's always willing to help. But it's that time of year. There's a lot of gold that came out here today. Marcus, may I say something? Gone is gone. Yes. I took uh, four pages of uh, notes. I get at least three, four things. And that thing that the, um, Stefan said, the $150 thing, that is how I trick my uh, brain, my mind, since two, three years. Every no makes me a hundred dollars. That is keeping me prospecting because it doesn't matter. They tell me yes or no. I make a hundred dollar each call connection because I have to talk to so many people to get to my average, which is $12,500. That keeps my mind going. That's why I do never get upset with people. They can say anything they want to. That's a great framework. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. B. That was perfect. Thank you, everybody. See you at the Mastermind on Wednesday.